So this tutorial is to teach you how to bind your books. I've been getting a lot of questions and I just figure it's probably best to to show you rather than the written explanations and the pattern um, instructions. So first off, this is assuming that you have finished all of your pages and that you have blanket stitched around all of the edges of your pages. So you should have a blanket stitch on all four edges of your page. And that's two pages together. Okay? And then you take all of your pages and you put them in the order that you want. And I am going to just show you, since this is already done, I'm going to show you on the opposite side because it, it would be the base, the same thing. So all you need is your needle, and it really doesn't matter what kind of needle. Um, embroidery needles fine. So your needle, a long piece of thread. Um, I'm going to use a brighter color, but usually I would recommend that you use um, a darker color, one that you're not going to notice so much, like a brown or or a neutral tone. Um, and then just a normal knot on the end. So you'll start at the bottom of your book. I'm going to have to line all my pages up, but this wouldn't be so hard if your book wasn't bound already. But So I'm going to start at the bottom of my book right here, and I'm just going to insert my needle into the bottom blanket stitch, into the bottom blanket stitch of my bottom or outside page. You've already got the knot there, but you are going to need to secure it again. So I'm not going to actually do another knot, but you will need to. So you go back through and tie your knot so that it stays secure right there. Okay? And then... You're going to take your needle and you're going to insert it through the blanket stitch on the edge of each page. So on mine I've got I've got five sets of pages so I'm inserting it through the blanket stitch of my five pages. And you want to go all the way under so that you're not going through the threads of the blanket stitches that you already have but you're going to go all the way under and you're going to pull all the way through and you're going to pull tight. You're going to repeat that and you're going to go all the way down and I usually skip a few so I would go maybe so you could probably go through each blanket stitch but that gets a little tedious so I skip and I do maybe every other or it just depends so you just look at it and if you feel like you have gaps then go closer together but if you feel like it's tight enough then just do it however you feel, but you're just going to do the same thing. So my thread's on this side, so I'm going to enter back in on that side, and I'm going to go through the blanket stitch on each page and pull through. So I'll do it a few more times. And it is okay if you go through the felt a little bit. You're not going to notice it at all. And each time you do it, you're going to pull tight. Okay? So, I don't know if you can see this, but you shouldn't really be able to see your thread at all when you're going through. It will just... You might see it a little bit, but for the most part, it should blend in. Now, one thing you will notice, um, and you don't notice this on my side because the book's already bound, but what you will notice is that the outside pages will be farther out than the inside pages. So right here, when you do it, you will notice that the pages start to push in a little bit. And that's fine. That's normal. Your book will still 
lay flat for the most part and the pages will be even on the opposite side but you will start to notice that because it will pucker as you stitch it through but basically that's it so when you make it to the end you're just going to secure your your stitches at the bottom with a knot and then um, if you have extra string I usually what I would do is I would just pull so let's just pretend this is the end of my page and I've tied a knot I put my needle through with my thread still attached and I pull it through a little bit and then I would cut I would cut the string there and then pull the pull the felt so that you can't see it so you would never know that the strings in there and it just keeps your strings tidy so that you don't see anything and that's it so hopefully that's helped you and you can figure out how to bind your book and finish your project.